Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. The topic is descent rate. And in the previous videos I explained its causes, its symptoms, and what is it. So as I said, there are two types, bacterial or parasitic descent rate. Uh, mostly uh, it spreads uh, uh, through the feces or the contaminated food or contaminated water. And uh, mostly the people get this type of descent rate when they are on holidays abroad especially in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Africa or North America where the uh, hygienic conditions are not so good and uh, sanitization is not uh, good as well. Uh, so once you visit your doctor with the complaints of uh, abdominal cramps or diarrhea or the blood in the stool or mucus in the stool, uh, your doctor will ask you the history, uh, have you traveled recently? So he, then he will uh, examine your abdomen, uh, check your pulse, blood pressure, uh, hydration level, uh, and uh, fever, temperature, body temperature. And uh, you should tell your uh, uh, doctor accurately about the travel history. And uh, your doctor may take the stool sample to uh, diagnose uh, the sample uh, to test uh, your stool for the diagnosis purpose and uh, whether it contains any bacteria or any amoebas which are causing this dysentery and then he, if he suspects he may order other tests like blood tests uh, uh, ultrasound scans to see if there are any liver abscesses and the blood tests to uh, see if there is any sign of infection and uh, yeah, in severe cases, uh, he may order the colonoscopy. So the colonoscopy is a type of uh, endoscopy that is used to uh, examine your bowel. And uh, during the uh, colonoscopy, an endoscope is passed through your anus, the back passage, uh, to see inside uh, if there are the presence of any ulcers or uh, uh, so the doctor will take the images uh, of the body from the inside and uh, he will look the pictures uh, at the TV screen and to see if there's any sign uh, of the uh, infection there or ulcers. So your bowel needs to be empty when the colonoscopy is performed. So you will be given the special di uh, like diet to eat for a few days before the colonoscopy and sedatives if there is constipation. and. Uh, it takes uh, about one hour to complete this test and it's very useful if uh, there are any complications after the uh, dysentery. So this is how your doctor will diagnose but most of the time even the people don't need to go to a doctor and it will settle itself but if the, these problems uh, or the, these symptoms persist then you should go to your doctor for further evaluation. Uh, the next uh, the video will be for the treatment of the recent So keep watching. 